My name is Carla Shelnut and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Family, Youth and Community Sciences. Um, but I teach classes in the Food Science and Human Nutrition Department. I teach an undergraduate um, nutrition and metabolism course that is a capstone course for juniors and seniors in the nutritional sciences and dietetics concentrations of the Food Science and Human Nutrition undergraduate degree. Kate Fletcher, I'm a lecturer in the Department of Family, Youth and Community Sciences. My main classes that I focus on teaching are our introductory course, which is FYC 3001, Principles of Family, Youth and Community Sciences, um, FYC 3201, uh, Foundations of Youth Development, and FYC 4905, Early Childhood Development, which is one that I personally created. My goal as a teacher with CALS is to not only relay the information, but connect with the students so they don't feel like just a number. I'm really big on the relationship between the professor and the student and getting to know them as individuals so that I can help them, you know, progress and mature and any way that I can in addition to learning the information in my class. One of my main goals as a lecturer uh, obviously is to teach the subject matter, um, but beyond just teaching, it's really to get to know my students. Um, that's one of the things that I love about my job is every semester I have a fresh group of faces that I like to commit to memory. I like to know their first and last names. I like to be able to call on them in class. I like to get to know them beyond just a face in the class. One of the fun parts about teaching in FYCS is the fact that building relationships with my students, I believe, really helps them to see what it means to really be in the service industry. Because in FYCS, a lot of my students call it kind of the helping major and or helping people major. And I think being the type of instructor that I am uh, really lends itself beautifully to the principles and the theories and the ideas that we're using and teaching and discussing in class and what my students do when they go out in the, in the field and do their service learning opportunities. What it means to me to win this award, um, it means that I'm doing my job right. So I'm very thankful to have my job. Um, I love what I do and I believe part of loving what you do and being passionate about what you do really comes through. Um, and obviously in teaching, I have my students' feedback and so they tell me every semester whether or not I'm good or not. So this is just a really, for me it's really amazing and extremely humbling for me to win this. To me it just says I've done my job right, I've been real effective, and there are people that can, you know, I guess attest to the fact that I've made a difference in their life by the way I've taught and how I, how I teach my students, how I engage them, um, how they've learned. Because again, I go back to the fact that I like to know my students beyond just a face in the classroom. It means a lot. I'm truly honored and I'm humbled because I love to teach and I'm honored that my peers have recognized that I'm passionate about teaching so I put my whole heart and effort into my classes and into my students and it's nice to be recognized by my peers for that. You know you're nominated by either your um, your peers, your colleagues, or by students so as part of the award you have to get letters of recommendation from both students and faculty. So it's really nice to get support from students who you've taught and to read those letters. They're, you know, they're really, really nice. Um, and same thing with your colleagues. You know, the fact that they believe in you as much as they do, that they're going to nominate you and write you letters, glowing letters, you know, that, that recognize your efforts, I think is, is really great. I think a lot of things make a good teacher. Um, definitely knowing the information, but more importantly, how it's relayed and how the teacher interacts with their student. Making sure that they're respectful of each student, making sure that they're, um, the students know that they're there because they want to be there, you know, um, that they, they can see that you love to teach. And I think all of that contributes to making a great teacher. What, what makes CALS different from other colleges? It is like a family. Um, our students very much you know, feel comfortable coming into my office talking to me things that they would probably share with their parents or their siblings. So from what they have shared with me, it's very different in other colleges. They don't have the same level of attention and detail and, um, and concern shown to them.